Hey guys, Buffy Game Bet. Today we're gonna have a video for our Blueprint Weapon series, and today we're gonna be covering the Desert Marksman bundle, which mainly we're gonna be covering the Kilobyte Assault Rifle, which is a blueprint here for the Kilo 141 of the HK433, as it's known in real life. So this one actually has some a unique attachment on it, which is why I ended up getting it. Plus, I always love supporting the Modern Warfare content. So go ahead, we'll run through this uh, bundle here. You can see the Desert Marksman available in shop for 1,100 COD points. You get the Sniper Rifle Blueprint here for the Scopi Enum for the HDR. You also get the Kilobyte Assault Rifle, which is the Kilo 141 or the HK433. You get the Scarab Charm, the Designation Sticker, as well as the Ancient Ram Emblem. So all this available for 1,100 COD points in shop here today. I didn't find it in my store. I actually had to search through the weapon blueprints itself to find this. But you can see here the final design. We're going to build this thing up a little bit, but it's got a really nice uh, desert camo on this which is really one of the main selling points plus we have this awesome looking um compensator here which is a nice cosmetic change for the blueprint so let's go ahead we'll back out and we'll strip this thing down to the base so this is what you get with the kilobyte at base what we're going to do is build this thing up so we have some of the attachments that come with this and i'm going to add some so if we look really quick at the kilobyte itself we'll go ahead and start with the kilobyte and i'll show you what it comes with which is the compensator, you get the long barrel, as well as a tactical foregrip, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep the first two. So the compensator is the main set thing here that I really liked on this. This is gonna give us the recoil control by redirecting the gas. The cons are gonna be the aim down sight speed and the aiming stability. Now the cool thing is, it looks like you can see the compensator change here. We get this on a few weapons. We have it on the battle tested as well. And here on the kilobyte, it's the same one. It looks very reminiscent of some compensators out, out there. It reminded me a lot of some of the Russian ones, the muscle break compensator packs, but this one looks a lot like the Strike Industries Fat Compensator. Really cool cosmetic change here for the weapon. I think I really like the aesthetic appeal of that. It looks really, really nice on the weapon itself. So next up, it comes with the blueprint comes with a long barrel. You can see here for the kilobyte, it's gonna retain the uh, desert brownish camo there. Pros and cons of the damage at range, bullet velocity, the recoil control, best barrel in slot for the kilo, cons of the aim down sight speed, and the movement speed. So we'll select that. Now to tack this thing up a little bit, what I'm going to do is for the laser, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a tactical laser. We're going to leave the base variant of this attachment because you can see it gives us that brown PEC-15, which matches perfectly with the weapon here. Pros are going to be the aim down sight speed, aim and stability, and the aim walking steadiness. The cons is going to be the laser will be visible to enemies. So we'll select that. Now the optic chart, again, just going for a really nice tactical look here. We're going to go with the four times flip sight. This will give us the hollow uh, toggle with the EOTech. So we have the EOTech at base, which is a one times magnifier. And then we have the three times flip for that to give us the four times zoom. The cons here are going to be the aim down sight speed. But again, we've really already made up for that with the tack laser. And again, you can see the different cosmetic ones here. You can go with battle or dying light if you wanted, but we'll go with the base. So we'll go ahead and we'll select the four times flip. And then one other thing we're going to do here is we will swap out the underbarrel. We don't want the tactical foregrip. We're actually going to want the commando foregrip, the better in slot one for the recoil stabilization and the aim and stability. The cons here are the movement speed. So we'll go ahead and again, you can see the different options you have here. We'll just go with the base one. So that's our final design for the kilo here. Again, that muzzle brake, or excuse me, the compensator looks a lot like a Strike Industries fat compensator. Really nice looking compensator there. I really wish we had one of these on the AK would be a really cool cosmetic attachment for the AK. But again, you can see how cool it looks with the PEC-15 there on the right-hand Picatinny. It looks really, really cool. Again, the H&K 433. So we have ambidextrous fire controls on the left and the right side. We also have the uh, magazine release there, which is the similar to the AKs right there under the trigger guard. And we have ambidextrous charging handle. So this is really a great weapon, best of both worlds here. Uh, combination of the HK416 and the G36. So great looking weapon. Again, really tactical looking the way we built this thing up. So the next one here is the blueprint for the HDR. I didn't change anything with this except I threw on the tack laser. So you can see we'll have the tack laser on. It has the scout combat optic or the LCAN on there as well. And again, this retains also a desert type camo. A little bit lighter than what we have in the Kilo, but again, really nice. And we have the focused here too, which which looks really good as well. So I like the way that looks um, overall with the Kilo. We match it up there. We go ahead and just back out. We'll look at both of these together. You can see I wish I wish the HDR had the same type of darker 
brown camouflage that the kilo does but it looks really good now really quick for our operator we're gonna you'll see here because the hk 433 uh is a german weapon and suspected to replace the g36 at some point in the near future i know that got delayed a little bit because there were some issues with the weapon itself and testing so that have been that has been pushed back but you can see here we're running our german operator so if we go over i believe we're running golem and we're running his nostalgia operator outfit there so it really changes him up from the ghillie suit all the way to this old school uh ksk german operator again you can see he just looks really really nice there with the kilo one for one especially with that fat muzzle breaker compensator on there it looks really cool as well so really awesome blueprint i thought this was a really cool one when i was just co i just happened to be coming through my different weapons and uh happen to see this in the uh purchasable store so you can see here if you hover over a weapon and go to the store you can see what's available for the weapon so it may not necessarily be in your show up in your store but you can see them here uh, for all the ones that are available so i was able to find it there and again it just looks awesome especially with that peck 15 mounted on the side there it looks really cool great looking weapon blueprint here this is really what i like to see not only did they put in a really awesome camouflage which is retained throughout the whole weapon but you have this awesome compensator which really looks really good on this weapon. So jumping into the gameplay here, we're just gonna show this off uh, here against Bonds on Euphrates Bridge, do a little bit of sniping action, do a little bit of action with the Kilo or the 433. So really, the way I'm using the 433, I'm not using the flip that often. I kind of just have it flipped out to the side. Now I put that on there mainly again, just for like aesthetic purposes, just to make it look tactical as I'm using it. So we have realism enabled here. Always love playing realism, uh, especially Modern Warfare multiplayer. You can still find some games here and there, which is really fun. But again, the compensator on this weapon looks really awesome. Again, it helps you control the recoil on this a little bit. However, you will see I did a couple instances here. I do have my ADS uh, sensitivity turned way down. So a couple instances here, I could not like move while ADSing too fast and it ended up getting me killed. But the weapon itself, I really do love the Kilo. I remember... I remember in Modern Warfare Multiplayer, this was really one of my favorite weapons at the start. I went back and used this quite a bit. A lot of fun to use this weapon. Obviously, it had its meta days in Warzone, which unfortunately they nerfed the heck out of it. Um, but a lot of fun to use. Again, a really nice weapon. Hopefully, we see something like this, the HK-433 in Battlefield 2042. Would make sense since, again, this was scheduled to replace the G36 in 2020. Uh, however, like I said, there were some delays in that, so... So for now, the G36 is still there. They may even end up going with the HK 416A7 or the A8 at this point. So the 433 project, again, it was really a, a combination of the best of the G36 as well as everything that was the best of the HK 416 and putting it together into one rifle. Uh, it had its custom H key mods for on the rails there, as well as completely modular was really the goal here, swapping out the barrels able to swap out and adjust the weapon, the barrels, the fire control systems, everything like that for the uh, the lo new lowers for new new rounds. So right here it takes 556 by 45. They initially wanted it to take 300 blackout, 762 by 39, 762 by 51, and I think even a 545 by 39 millimeter. So this was really supposed to be a modular weapon system. However, uh, it, like I said, it has been delayed a little bit and now it seems like HK um, has been coming out with more iterations of the 416, so they have the A7, and now the A8, I believe, is also in the works. So I think that might end up replacing G36. However, don't really know yet. This was originally, back in 2019, scheduled to replace the G36, which was going to be phased out, since there's been those issues with the melting hand guards, which uh, is debatable. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe, I think this would make sense to be in Battlefield 2042. It's a really good gun. Um, really good blueprint also overall great blueprint like to see these blueprints with the compensators Let me know down below what you guys think of this one. Have you been able to purchase this? Have you seen this in store? There's a couple different blueprints in the game which have this compensator on it, which again, this is a really cool compensator I wish you could take um, Cosmetic changes for blueprints that it may be on one weapon and just apply them to all the weapons So instead of being maybe weapon specific, they were kind of you could interchangeable through all weapons mainly you could only really do that with things like compensators or suppressors really um and grips things like that you couldn't really do it with barrels or anything but to be able to put any type of compensator i'd love to put this on an 8k it would be really really nice looking for this game so let me know down below what you guys think again social media links 
and Discord links are down below. We have Instagram, Twitter, and the Discord. Best places to get a hold of me are Instagram and Twitter down below. I always respond to messages over there if you have anything you want to get a hold of me for, as well as in Discord. You can message me there. Also, we have a really good community there that pretty much runs itself, so really great community there. I think we're well over 300 at this point, probably closer to four. Um, haven't checked the total count in a while, but really good community there that really just loves weapon building and things like that, so feel free to click on the link down below and join up in the Discord. Let me know down below what you guys think. I know there was a lot of missed opportunities for blueprints and things in this game, unfortunately, but hopefully with Modern Warfare 2 in 2022, we get a lot more of that. Uh, more overall cosmetic overhauls for the weapons. Like I've always said before, I would have loved to see an XM8 blueprint for the G36 or the Holger 26 there. Also, I would have loved to see an AK-12 blueprint for the AK in game. Things like that would have been really nice. So hopefully in Modern Warfare 2, uh, that's something that they're able to apply. I'm sure it was probably a little bit more difficult to do the first time here in Modern Warfare. So Modern Warfare 2, hopefully that's something that they're able to do going forward to completely reskin the weapon would be a lot of fun. Especially a lot of these attachments that we see. This, this compensator is a fine example of being able to reskin an attachment and make it look completely different. So I love seeing that type of thing. Let me know down below what you guys think of this. I'll leave you guys with the gameplay. Till next time, this is Buckner Gaming, out.